Hi guys, my name's Michael Dranfield and I'm going to show you how to turn the Sky Digibox into a colour bar generator. Right, so here we go, here is the standard Amstrad DRX300 Sky Digital Box and you can see it running on the telly in the background. I'll just get the remote control. And there we go, that is the standard box working. Now I'm just going to turn off the box. Right, okay guys, so here we have the Amstrad DRX300 Sky Digibox with the lid removed. What we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole here in the back of the Sky Box. We're going to insert this little miniature switch in the back and we're going to connect two wires to this chip here. We're going to connect one wire to pin 48 and one wire to pin 25. That is the service manual for the DRX300 and you can't see it on here because I'm only using a cheap camera but it is pin 48 and pin 25 right so here's the sky box with the back removed the back panel I've already drilled a hole in the back and inserted a little miniature switch I've labelled it up sky or bars and two wires which we're going to attach down here right so here we go we've got two wires one we're going to attach to this little capacitor here which is actually pin 48 of the IC which is a 3.3 volt supply and the other we're going to attach to the top of this resistor here which is actually pin 25 of the IC so if you just give me a second I'll just get these soldered on right okay the paste soldering stations warmed up I'm just going to solder on the wires I'll just stop the camera right okay here we go that's two wires soldered on one there one there and just to recap um, it's pin 48 of the IC which is actually the 3.3 volt supply and pin 25 of the IC rather than connecting straight to the IC I've just soldered to a resistor and a capacitor that connect to the IC because the pins on the IC are quite closely spaced and there you have it on the back you can watch sky or you can watch colour bars right so we'll just stop the camera and I'll plug it in and see the result right so here we go sky digibox connected to the tally we've just got to wait uh, about 30 seconds for the sky box to boot up in the meantime I'll just grab the sky remote so we can turn on the box and here we go should be ready to come on now there we go just come on searching for listings move that back a bit so you can see it Right, that's the skybox come on the home page. Let's just select a channel 101, which is BBC One. And here we go. That's the little switch on the back. So there you've got a standard skybox. Put the switch down. Of course, you can't see it because it's flickering on the telly. Right, so there we go. That's the. I've had to connect the Sky Digibox got rid of the CRT Kelly there, I've had to connect it to an LCD one so the screen doesn't flicker and you can see what's going to happen. 
Just turn that round a bit. Um, I plug the skybox in. We've just got to wait about 30 seconds for it to boot up. Just get the remote and try it. Which takes absolutely ages. Here we are. It's coming on. Searching for listings. Right, there we go. I'm just going to select a channel. Uh, 101, which is BBC One. And there you go. You've got your standard Sky Digibox. Or, if we flick this little switch down here now, you've got a colour bar generator. That's the switch down. You've got sky, or you've got colour bars. Sky or colour bars. And that is how to turn an Amstrad DRX300 Sky Digital Box into a colour bar generator. That's the back view of the box now. There's a little switch, I've labelled it up. Sky or bars, you can have the sky or down for the bars. All you've got to do now is put the screws back in the box, Just put the screws back on the top and reassemble the whole lot back together again. I'll just turn it around here. You can see two wires been added on. Um, that is a little switch in the back where I've drilled the hole. So that's a colour bar generator out of an old sky box at no cost. Right, that's the service manual for the DRX300. Um, they've got the same chip, the Connexent BT865A is also fitted in the Amstrad model DRX400. Um, so there's no reason whatsoever why joining these two pins shouldn't generate you a colour bar signal on the DRX400 as well. But I must say I've not tried that at the moment, only on the 300.